Today we will speak about the revision of the crop groups. Uh, the crop groups are in the application for accreditation and also we find the crop groups in the uh, certificate of accreditation and the accreditation scope of the accredited laboratories. We consider that it is a time to find a simplified way to uh, to reconstruct the, the crop groups um, and to help also the accredited laboratories in some aspects. The tables were never revised and we concluded that with uh, our new approach will simplify uh, the process for accreditation and also we will uh, come with a positive impact for the, uh, the audit uh, day. What we expect as well, uh, we expect that um, some laboratories will conclude that the accreditation scope can be reduced uh, due to the changes we have done. The first change was that we removed the subgroups in within the groups. Another change it was that we revised the scientific name and now all names are aligned to the final or the last version of the list of stabilized plants names. The biggest change is that uh, genus was added in more than one crop groups. The, as an example, uh, Brassica was uh, initially only in uh, crop group number five, other agricultural crops. Now Brassica is also uh, in crop group number six, vegetables, and we know that most of the laboratories testing vegetables, brassicas, were um, accredited for number five other agricultural crop groups due to this reason. The whole revision was supported by the East Executive Committee, the accreditation working group members, um, the chairs of the technical committees, and my colleague Branka Opra, uh, System Auditor Assista Secretariat. We are glad that the Executive Committee approved the proposed change and also uh, the changes were very well received by the ISTA members.